Hey, 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 folks, Slice Them here with Slice Them Gaming, SJ1 first SSX1, Season 46, War 11. This is a podium battle for us. Uh, we're currently third overall. They were fifth. And coming in this, I got Iron Man versus Danny Moonstar on Node 4. Uh, steady build up Fury running on fumes. He'll block, and while they're down, basically, uh, once you knock them down, you get a Fury. Um, that's, that's the biggest thing here. Uh, really, this is a pretty standard fight. This, again, is just a big control fight. Make sure you, you pay attention to what's going on. Uh, and as you can see, putting up the boost, throwing on some damage. Went with advanced power boost so I can get to my L2 quickly. Um, in my mind, this thing kind of ran like normal, you know. Um, so, and I got that backwards. This is not when you knock them down. I'm so sorry. This is when you get a debuff. They get a fury. But either way. So here we go. Basically, we're going to land our intercept. We've got a hero block up. Taunts up. There's the L1. And again, we're just playing this very safe. It's a uh, tank it, take the damage, rinse, repeat. And again, she's throwing the L1. We're able to dodge the last part, which lets us go right into a combo. So we're, we're setting in a pretty good spot here. And... Again, this is kind of a boring fight. I, I say boring because for me, there is nothing exciting. This isn't a, oh, uh, there's really a whole lot to do. This is hold your block button, take your damage, uh, avoid what you can, and just don't make silly mistakes. So I probably should have went with a relic there first. Probably should have went relic, then the L1. Uh, but we're, we're setting on a relic now. To, we'll use it there. We're going to turn unable to really launch another L1 here. And you say I almost pushed her to the L2, which is is not the thing to do. That is not what you want to do on this fight uh, with Danny. You don't, well, I guess just really any fight. You really don't want to push her to L2. The L1 is very manageable. You can dodge most of it. Um, and again, with Iron Man, you can tank it all anyway. But as you can see there, we're going to parry, land some combos, and finish this fight. Again, another control fight. Nothing crazy, nothing special. Um, just, just stay steady, be smart, and take the fight. So... This is a fight, Titiana versus Man Thing on Node 13. Steady build up, Fury, long distance relationship, heal block, and insult to injury. Um, and I don't have the video to that fight. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know how I didn't do it, but I didn't record it. It wasn't one shot though, so I'll give myself that. At least I was able to get a one shot there. And instead, we're going to move right into Titiana versus Kindred on Node 20. Personal space, placebos, and subterfuge knockdown. Um, so, sorry I didn't have the man thing fight. It, it was pretty pretty bland. Not a lot going on. So this is the one where, with the knockdown, I'm gaining the fury. Sorry, I got my notes crisscrossed earlier. Um, again, we got placebo going on here. The big thing is you don't have to worry about that because I can't gain buffs. Um, so that's the big thing. There's there's no buffs here for, uh, for Titiana. So this is a pretty straightforward fight. Play smart. Keep it under control. And as usual. Um, make sure you're ready to go whenever he reaches that certain phase. Watch for the degen. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and replace my de or my, my boost so that I've got the additional damage here on my specials. And again, we're going to go ahead and toss up an invuln, mainly just to be safe. Um, I've taken this fight a couple different times, but I always worry about getting clipped. Um, excuse me, the first couple times I face Kindred... Um, the first couple times I faced him, I was managed to get clipped a couple times going in a little too soon. So, again, I, I'm burning an invul and really just more so for safety. This is a fight that was a, a, a fight. This is a war that was really big to us. Um, if we if we get this win, we hold the two spot. Um, and we come into the final fight basically in a really, really, really good position into our final war. Um, so, for me, this was all about making sure I did everything I could... To, to give my team the best odds to win. Um, and here in a minute, you're going to see where I fail my team. But for, for right now, uh, this fight is is under control. You can see I feel good about it. I'm, I'm getting my heavy so I can get the additional damage. Um, this, this, again, is a, a pretty standard fight. There's nothing really crazy here due to the fact that I don't have to worry about anything really surprising me. As you can see, the degen's kicking in. I'm, I'm creating my distance. I'm letting it fall off. And then it's just right back to work. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and parry as much as I can here, keeping the fight under control. I land the intercept, get my uh, 
haymaker ready to go, or I guess technically running. So as soon as I land this L3, I can get on top of him and throw in some additional damage. Do the heavy, which I really kind of didn't expect him to do. Uh, which I guess technically I was involved and I was unstoppable. I could have ran right through it. Um, but I guess muscle memory kind of stopped me. Um, so with that being said, I, I definitely pulled back on that when I probably should have went full throttle. But uh, that's okay. Again, control. I'm trying to pay attention. And as you can see, there's the degen. So keeping my distance, not letting, not letting it stack up as much as I can. It falls off. And at this point, I feel pretty good. We're down 11%. I, I gotta make a lot of mistakes here to really mess this up and I'm able to throw that special and finish this fight. So it worked out really well. So can't, can't really complain with that fight. A couple mistakes, things I could have done a little bit better, probably so, but ultimately I, I felt good about it. Next fight, I've got uh, Zemo here. So this is a fight that we've seen earlier in this season. It's Onslaught versus Zemo, no 29. Personal space placebo, prey on the weak, EMP modification. And this is a fight that we took uh, very first war of the season against four Loki. Um, so I've been here, done this, and as you can see, we're, we're throwing on boost. Um, looking back, there's one thing I wish I would have done. I didn't put on uh, a power back boost. I, I'm not 100% sure how much effect it really would have had here because I feel like my play errors is really what, what's going to cause this. And, as, and if you can't tell... This is a death uh, coming up for me, so um, I I really, I almost feel like I kind of over-prepared. Um, the first time I took this fight, it was playing just off natural instinct, knowing what each champ was, knowing what I've done when I faced Zemo before, knowing what I expected out of the node, um, and how I wanted to handle it. This time, I went back and reviewed that very first fight that I had, or the very first time I had this fight against 4Loki, where I walked out barely alive. I say barely alive. I mean, I had a decent amount of health, but I, I did just soak a special three in that fight um, and ended up killing him off of the dots. So I, I went back and I rewatched that fight and I thought to myself, okay, what can I do better? One of those things was not getting hit before the soak of the special three. And as you can see, I failed in that here. Um, there, I, I took damage off an L2. And the other thing that I think I overly done uh, in today's, in this, this war here is I, I over baited the L1. Um, inside my head, I wanted to do that. And right there, you can see I land the heavy. And the problem is, is I don't do that enough. Um, the power becomes a problem. And I try to overcompensate that uh, by not taking my opening. There's a lot of openings that this fight lends me. Right there was another one. I should have landed a heavy. I didn't. Uh, and I'm going to do it right here again. This, this should be another heavy. And instead, I just go to a combo. Um, and then looking back, I think this cost me the fight. Um, I think had I I'd done a better job there, I have more neuros stacked up. I, I do a little bit more damage with my L2. And instead, here I am. I'm getting into the L3 again, just like I did last time. Um, and as you can see, this, this, is, this, this hurts. So the close to death against the wall. We fight out of it, uh, land the L1, and honestly, I kind of think to myself, I may be able to pull this out here. Uh, I'm healing, willpower is kicking in, Onslaught's abilities are, are, are doing its thing. I bait the L1, I come in, and I'm, I'm feeling good about this. I wish I would have stuck a little tighter to, to land a heavy. There's my mistake, though. Um, there's, there's the killing shot. That's the problem. <sighs> I feel like I was holding block. I'm shocked I didn't dex. Instead, champ just stood. Either way, shouldn't have been that close. Um, I made the mistakes. I made mistakes. It put me in that situation to be close to death. And as you can see, it killed me. Um, super disappointing. And as you can see, there's not much health left here on Zemo. 37K. So when I go back and I think about that 37K worth of damage, how many more heavy should I have landed? How many more times, you know, how much, how much more damage would my L2 have done had I properly landed the heavies before I ever went into that? Um, there's a lot of little things that I look back on this fight and I feel very disappointed on. And as you can see, there's the defeat screen. We ended up getting just cooked here by, uh, SSX. Um, they played a great war. As you can see, nine deaths for them, 13 for us. We gave a couple late, uh, that I feel we normally wouldn't have gave. We had one player who just rushed into a fight because he thought the war was over. So really, we probably should have been 
11 deaths maybe. Either way, it's too many deaths for what we're looking to do. And more importantly, it's just really a great war by SSX. They played really well. They handled our defense really well. Most of the season, our defense has really held us up. Um, I can't say we've been the best attacking squad all season, but we've definitely had a really good defense and been able to capitalize on that, get wins, and always do well enough on offense to get the win. So as you can see, we go from second to third. Disappointing, but there's one more left, and we're going to give everything we can to try and find a way to climb back into that number two spot. Uh, it's just going to require a little bit of help from some other alliances and and hopefully we can play well in our last war and come out with another victory. So with that being said, until next time, take care, have fun, and as always, keep on gaming. Adios.